device configuration, basic settings. These instructions explain how to configure the basic settings of a UMG meter using GridVis software, content, configuring the device identity, configuring transformer ratios, selecting measuring variants, configuring nominal values, configuring recordings, configuring serial interfaces, transferring the configuration, exporting importing a configuration, Double-click the corresponding tree entry for the device to be configured. Click the Configuration button. When naming your measurement devices, we recommend maintaining a uniform naming convention for all projects. In this step, you configure the device name and its description. Click the Transformer menu entry to continue with the transformer settings. On some devices, the measuring inputs 1 to 3 are called the main input and input 4 is called the secondary or auxiliary input. If you are using the measurement device to measure residual current, also configure the ratio of the residual current transformers here. Here L5 and L6. Click the measuring variance menu item. Click the drop down button. If you have connected the auxiliary measurement, also configure the connection diagram for this measurement here. Select the appropriate measurement variant from the list. Click the nominal values menu item. The nominal values form the basis for the further calculations of the measurement device and must be entered according to the measuring environment. Click the nominal frequency drop-down button. Select an option for the nominal frequency from the list. You can either enter a fixed grid frequency or have the measurement device determine it automatically. We recommend using the LN setting for measuring the power quality in low voltage grids. LL should be used in medium voltage power grids. Use the selection field to select whether the LN or LL voltage is to be measured. Enter the nominal grid voltage in the nominal voltage input field. Enter the nominal current of the consumers connected to the measured network in the nominal current input window. The K factor describes the increase in eddy current losses when loaded with harmonics. With a sinusoidal load on the transformer, the K factor equals 1. The larger the K factor is, the stronger a transformer can be loaded with harmonics without overheating. In the nominal current for K factor field, enter the corresponding nominal current. TDD, total demand distortion, indicates the ratio between the current harmonics, THD and the effective current value at full load. Enter the corresponding nominal current in the nominal current TDD input field. Click the recording configuration menu item. You can choose from various presets to automatically create recording profiles that you can use to record the relevant standards. In order to automatically load recording profiles from a corresponding preset recording, click the corresponding button in the preset recordings area. Click the Yes button. Click the Edit button to edit the marked recording profile. To add more values to the recording profile, click the Add Values button. Select the desired value in the tree structure and drag it into the value window while holding down the left mouse button. After you have dragged all the desired values into the values window, click the OK button. The measured values can be recorded in different ways, mean value, arithmetic effective value, sample, for flow meters, gas, water, etc. for value changes, recording option for digital inputs. For the mean value, you can also record minimum and maximum values. Note the increased memory requirement here. Select the desired recording mode using the selection field. If you record a mean value, you can use the selection boxes to also record minimum and maximum values. The time base is only relevant for recording the mean, minimum, maximum values and sample. A permanent recording of measured values with a time base less than 10 seconds can quickly exhaust the memory capacity. You can use the drop-down button to select a time base from the recommendations or you can use the user-defined entry and enter a desired time base in the input field. After you have configured the mode and time base for all values, click the OK button. Click the Serial Ports menu item. The device ID must be unique within a bus segment. For devices that communicate as Modbus masters in the system, 
the ID 250 is often assigned in practice. Click the device ID input field to configure the Modbus address of the device. Click the mode drop down button. Depending on the model, the device can communicate via the bus in different ways. Select the desired mode from the list. Click the baud rate drop down button. Select the baud rate for all devices in a bus structure uniformly. Select a baud rate from the list. Click the transmit to button. Use the check boxes to select which part of the configuration is to be transferred. Click the next button. Here, you can select several devices of the same type to simultaneously transfer the configuration to several devices. Select the desired device from the list. Click the finish button. Click the OK button. Click the save to file button to export the configuration. Click the save button. Click the OK button. Click the load from file button to load the configuration from a configuration file. Select a valid grid vis configuration file. Click the open button. Click the OK button. Summary. Identity. The identity consists of the device name and a description. If several measurement devices are used, we recommend establishing a uniform designation. Transformer. The voltage and current transformer ratio can be found in the transformer used or in the corresponding documentation. In some devices, the configuration of L1, L2 and L3 is combined as the main measurement. Nominal values. The further calculations of the measurement device are based on the nominal values. Depending on the device, you enter the nominal frequency and nominal current for various measurements here. Recording configuration. Depending on the device, you can create multiple recording profiles. You can record several measured values for each recording. If your device supports this, you can load pre-configured recording profiles that record values according to a certain standard. For example DIN EN 20160. Serial Interface. Under this item, you configure the Modbus communication settings. The same baud rate must be selected for devices in a bus. Transferring the configuration. You can transfer the entire configuration to the measurement device by clicking transmit. You can use the transmit to button to transfer individual configurations, such as the recording configuration, to several devices at once. Exporting or importing a configuration. You can export and import the configurations to create configuration templates for devices of the same type. 